Okay, so starting our class today, laying flat on our back, finding ourselves coming into our Shavasana pose. Shoulders relaxed. Hips coming down into the floor. Nose pointing straight up to the ceiling. Long neck. Just noticing how we're feeling. As we start our practice today, I want us to be comfortable. Comfortable in our clothing, comfortable on the surface that we've decided to practice our yoga positions, whether that's the mat, the floor. Noticing the sounds that we're hearing and the space that we're choosing to work out in and the music that we hear. Any thoughts that are racing around our head, go ahead and just let them float by. Anything that's important, that'll come back later. We can deal with anything that's important after yoga. What I want us all to do right now, as we're laying here, arms down by our sides, shoulders relaxing into the mat, nose pointing straight to the sky. I want us to breathe. Big inhale. And when we inhale, you're gonna feel your rib cage expand. Exhale. Relax. Again, inhale. Exhale, relax. Let's take a couple more big breaths like this. We're just noticing that we feel calm. Noticing if you're getting distracted by anything. Sometimes it really helps to focus on the breathing or to think about one thing. Think about that one purpose. Maybe your purpose in yoga today is relaxation. Maybe it's flexibility. Or maybe it's a body scan. Learning something about yourself. Learning about what feels good. Maybe where we're holding some tension, stress, or tightness. So figuring out what that one thought is that you want to hold on to and focus and remind yourself whenever you get distracted to just start thinking about that Good. while we're laying down on the ground i want us to reach our arms up over our head next so we'll take our arms long on the floor big long reach let your lower back peel up off the ground take a couple bigger deeper breaths Very nice, releasing those arms, gathering our knees into our chest. Give yourself a huge hug. Now, as you hold your legs, you can choose to hold behind the knees on the thighs or hold the hands on our shins. I want you to rock side to side. I love this knees to chest position as our warm up. What it allows us to do is give ourselves a little back massage. We also get to figure out how our hips are feeling today. As we hold our knees to chest, I want us to roll our ankles, rolling through the feet. This helps encourage really good blood flow, circulation. All right, let's take both feet down to the ground. Preparing for our glute bridges. Arms are down by our side, roll the shoulders into the mat. Take your rib cage and now tighten it together. Make it a little bit stronger. With all 10 toes and all 10 fingers pressing into the ground, we inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, release, keeping the nose pointing straight to the ceiling. Inhale, lifting the hips up. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. We have two more of these. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last time, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. 
Excellent. From here, we're going to cross our right foot over our left knee. Now, just exploring how our hips are feeling this morning in a figure four position, we press the right knee open with our right hand and press the left hip down with our left hand. But same arm as leg. And I want us to make sure that our backs are staying completely flat on the floor. Both shoulders, both hips, with the spine staying straight. Nose stays pointing to the sky. Take a couple of really nice big breaths. One more time. Good, now from here, don't change anything yet. I want us to take our arms out to the side and let both legs fall over towards the left side. And we might feel a really big stretch happening through that right hip. Go ahead and look over your right arm. All right, coming back up and releasing. Let's take the left foot up and over now. Just allow our legs to open up naturally. And then we take our left hand, press the left knee away a bit more. Take the right hand, press the right hip down. I want us to flatten out our back. Figure out if we're twisted, if we're favoring one side. So what often happens here is we kind of protect ourselves from the stretch and we don't, we don't want it accidentally. So we may kind of fall into it. I don't want us to protect ourselves. I want us to allow the stretch to happen. So we keep our body flat, and we press the knee open. Notice if we're at all scrunching up through our shoulders, relax those down. Yoga is such an amazing opportunity. The time that we have in this class to explore our body, knowing what feels good, knowing what our body does, how it works. Such a wonderful time to figure that out. Other leg now, Lauren. Let's take our feet down. Good. And then we're just going to slowly work our way all the way up and over. And we'll take ourselves up into tabletop position. All right, so with our hands coming down to the floor, fingers spreading, pull our bellies in so that we're really engaging through the core muscles. Backs are super flat. With our hands right underneath, uncurl those toes. So sometimes the same thing, we curl the toes. That creates a lot of tension. I want you to relax the feet, try to stretch out through the ankles. Keeping our position here, finding spinal balance. Extend your right arm forward, thumb to the sky, and then press that left leg back, really nice and straight, lowering that down. Inhale, left arm, thumb to the sky, right heel back, and lower. Inhale, right, exhale, down, inhale, left, exhale, good. One more each side, inhale, right, exhale, and inhale, left, exhale. Holding the tabletop position, go ahead and take your cows and cats. We take a big inhale, look forward with the eyes. Exhale, tuck the tailbone round the back, pull the bellies up nice and high. Now inhale, open up to cow, fall through the crown of your head. Exhale, tuck the tailbone round the back, pull those bellies in. Inhale, open long through the neck. Exhale, round your back nice and high. Inhale, open, last time in the cow position. And then exhale, round up into cat, as high as we can go. Good, pressing back into child pose. Sink the hips down to the heels, extend those arms forward. Let's rest our foreheads to the ground. Now, while we're in our child pose position, I want us to take a couple nice big breaths. Feel your body melt into the floor. How small can you get? We're going to stretch through our shoulders. 
So as we're holding our child pose stretch, I want us to walk our hands over to the right side, taking that left hand, stack it on top of your right hand, and pull it over. A little bit of a stretch here, coming past that left shoulder down the side. It feels really nice. Walk our hands all the way over to the left side now. We're going to stack our right hand on top and gentle pull. This is one of my favorite side stretches. Nice and easy from child's pose. Coming back through the middle, holding that child's pose position. Now slowly working our way back up through tabletop. We're going to lower our body completely to the mat. So if we can slowly, slowly lower, that takes a lot of control. Keeping our hands underneath the shoulders, maybe bring the hands back towards our ribs a little bit more. Squeeze the elbows, squeeze the shoulders together. We're coming into baby cobra. I want us to extend through the upper backs, lifting just the chest up off the floor. Knowing if we're doing this properly, you can just lift the hands up a little bit just a little bit off the ground, and then lower. Now doing baby cobra again, or full cobra, you can come all the way up, if that feels good for your back. Now notice how I'm really lifting up through my hips. I'm keeping my elbows a little bit soft, and I'm keeping my shoulders away from my neck and my ears. Pressing back through child's pose again. Very good. This time, I want us to come up into tabletop. We're going to practice our lunges. From here, we sweep our right foot forward up between our hands, knee straight above ankle, lifting our body upright, making sure that we feel comfortable so that both hips are square to the front of the room. And then we're going to lift our arms all the way up above our head, Roll those shoulders down and bend forward slightly. We're pulling in our belly, keeping that knee stacked above the ankle. And then as we reach nice and tall, let's feel an amazing stretch up your back hip. So if I just show us from the front view here, stretching that back hip, reaching our arms long. Relax the shoulders down. Let's see if we can close our eyes for a couple of breaths. Slowly releasing our arms. Good, bringing our hands down, sweeping the knee back behind. Go ahead and take the other foot forward. For most of us, it's gonna be our left leg. We lift ourselves up to make sure that we're Stack the foot. So if I can show you again from the side, that knee is stacked directly on top of the ankle. What I want to avoid is this pressure on the kneecap by going too far past the knee. So we keep the knee right on top of the heel and the ankle. As we bend forward, we're not collapsing through our bellies, but pulling ourselves really strong, lifting that up, relax the shoulders down. Good, always working on posture always aware of where our arms are. So every now and then maybe looking up and finding them in space. It's a really nice opportunity again in yoga to figure out how to control our body, how to control our movement. Now let's close our eyes and see if we can still do that, practicing some balance. Very nice. Let's release our hands down. Sweep the knee back behind. Press back into child's pose. Take a couple of breaths again. As we're breathing here, just notice if you can get a little bit smaller. Still relaxing your feet, not curling them in the back, but trying to keep them flat. We're going to get ready for a modified flow series. So from our child's pose position, little push-up combination. I want us to 
find ourselves coming forward in a kneeling plank. Shoulders right on top of your hips. Glue your bellies in. Keep your hips really level and strong. Bend down to a hover. Keep your body pressing above the floor. Control it with your elbows tucking into your rib cage. Press straight up into that kneeling plank position. Push back into child's pose. We'll do this a few times. We inhale to reach forward into kneeling plank. Exhale, hover into baby crocodile. Inhale, push straight up, kneeling plank. Exhale, press back, child's pose. Inhale forward. Exhale, hover. Inhale, press. Exhale, back. One more time. Inhaling forward. Exhale, elbows brushing rib cage. Inhale, press up, backs are flat. And press back into child's pose. Next shoulder stretch will be our thread the needle. With our thread the needle, we're going to be taking our right arm under our left. In child pose position, sweep the right arm completely underneath the left shoulder. See if you can lay into that right ear. Now, regardless of how we've chosen to hold this position, I want us to stretch through that entire right shoulder, up and through the upper back. Sweeping through the middle, taking that left arm now and bringing it underneath the right shoulder, laying into that left ear. coming out of that and we're going to work into our first down dog curling our toes lifting our hips up nice and high and pressing away from our hands what we want to do here is draw our tailbone right up to the sky keep a little bit of a knee bend and then from our feet if you're looking down at your feet see if you can look back at them and there's only about a running shoe between the two feet Okay, so maybe a handprint, if that's easier to imagine. See the distance between the heels and the floor? See if you're able to squish that. So whether that's still up nice and high or down all the way to the ground, that's gonna be dependent on how tight your calves and your hamstrings are today. So just playing with that a bit. Spread those fingers, look back at your heels. Roll the shoulders, long necks. Let's release our necks here. Shake the head no. Go ahead and nod the head, yes. Oh my goodness, it's so good relaxing through the neck tension. Now let's start to walk our feet and hands together, working our way all the way up to the top of our mat. We flatten out our back and we come halfway up to monkey. Monkey position, working the bellies in, flattening up the back, imagining that you've become a table. Your back is the table, your legs are the stand. Hands can press against the shins or the thighs. What I want us to do is keep our shoulders from collapsing forward. Instead, draw them in. Find that support. Long neck, same thing. We don't want to relax the head down. I want the ears in line with the shoulders, working those postural muscles. Go ahead and sit back through our hips and heels, finding chair pose. Chair pose, we're really flat to the back. Still drawing the bellies in flattening out all the way, getting mostly into our heels. Arms are nice and high. Continuing to hold this. Get a little bit lower, maybe. Take one big inhale, lift up. I feel relaxed. Very nice. Now from here, I want us to stand up as tall as we can in Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Feet are about hips width distance apart. Feel all four corners on the ground. Making sure that we're then zipping up through our thighs. Open across our hips. Roll the shoulders down and spread the fingers forward and long. Good. From here, let's take a couple deep breaths.
Very nice, very powerful. When we're ready, we're going to step our right foot forward and our left foot back behind us. This is warrior one. Bending into our right knee, we press that heel down to the floor of both feet. Both feet are completely flat. Hips are facing forward. And then reach our arms up tall. As we hold warrior one, go ahead and just bend into the knee slightly, lifting up even taller. Holding it here. See if we can close our eyes for balance. Get a really nice stretch out of the back leg. I'm just gonna turn to the side so you can see better. Press the heel down, lift up through the bellies, and reach the arms long. See if we can close our eyes. All right, release our arms down, straighten out our legs. We're getting ready for a pyramid pose. Keep your knees a little bit soft, hips and shoulders face forward to the front leg, and then we're just going to walk down the leg. Maybe today we stay up high, maybe we come a little bit lower, all the way to the floor perhaps. What I want is your back to stay flat. Don't reach the floor only if you're having to hunch your back, okay? really nice and flat and then reach down wherever your hands are the wonderful thing about yoga is that we're not competing against anybody else we don't even have to have a competition with ourselves there aren't any expectations and we're not judging anyone we're simply doing the pose that feels the best today is safe is effective Maybe it's relaxing. So remember what your purpose or your intention was for today. Was the intention to get a little bit more flexibility? Was it maybe just to calm down? Perhaps it was for focus. So remind yourself that when you're holding the poses. I want us to slowly work our way down into a lunge, sweep ourselves back in through plank position, plank on hands and toes and press back into downward facing dog. While we're here, feel free to hold down dog or pedal the feet walking the dog, whichever feels better. Sometimes it's nice to pedal because we can really encourage good circulation and blood flow all the way into those little toes. Now let's continue that walk if we're doing it all the way up in between our hands. Coming up halfway to monkey. Good, again, I want you to cue those postural muscles. Are the shoulders relaxing or are they really nice and flat? Soften the knees, big inhale, reverse nice and tall all the way up and release. Good. Standing tall at the top of our mat, making sure if you haven't got quite there yet that you're gonna walk yourself right up to the front. This time we're sweeping our right foot forward and our left foot behind you. So you'll do the other side, whatever leg you haven't done yet for warrior one. Bending into the right knee, pressing the left leg back, go ahead and reach the arms tall. Warrior one position. Good, and I'll show it from the front again if anyone's confused. So left foot forward, Right leg back, hips and shoulders face the front. Take those arms up nice and tall. Shoulders roll down. Now, if you're able to, I want you to close your eyes. Really stretching that back leg. Feeling tall. Wearing the crown on our head proudly. Couple big breaths. Remind yourself, calm down. Stay focused. So important to practice being able to stay focused. Stay still. Very nice. Release the arm. Straighten out the legs. Are you ready for pyramids? All right, so keeping our hips and shoulders level, 
they move together. We start to hinge over that front leg. We're going to walk ourselves down. So whether we keep our hands up on our thighs, the shin, the foot, or the floor. I want our backs really nice and flat. Feel a little bit of a stretch happening up behind the knee, the thigh, the hamstring. And now let's just do a quick check. Is your right leg any different from your left leg? Just asking yourself, how does that feel today? Are you lower on one side? Is there anything keeping you from getting lower? Again, using yoga as a time for reflection. Let's bend the knee, hands come down, sweep back to plank. I wanna see everyone's really strong plank position here. And when you're ready, we're going to press back through down dog. Holding down dog. Again, you can hold it still or you can pedal the feet. Very good. All right. I'd like us to walk our feet all the way up to our hands again. We have one more time through standing postures. Finding monkey. Pull the shoulders together. Maybe we've gotten a little bit more length up the back of our knees. Perhaps we've gotten slightly flatter. Let's bend the knees, big inhale, lift tall. Reverse swan dive and release. <sighs> Take a couple of big breaths. We're going to find Tadasana, mountain pose one more time. Go ahead and roll the shoulders. Reestablish all four corners of our feet on the mat. Stand up really tall. It's wonderful to see everyone standing with really excellent posture. Always something good to practice. Now we're coming into tree pose. So let's extend our right leg out to the side, open through the hip, and draw the foot in. Keeping the foot on the floor, this is just kickstand. This is perfectly acceptable, especially if our balance is a little wobbly today. Now feel free to bring the foot up to our calf or all the way above the knee to the inner thigh. What we don't wanna do, we don't wanna place the foot exactly on the knee. That could cause us out. I don't even like pretending to do that. We could accidentally kick our knee out and we don't wanna ever put ourselves in a position in yoga that could hurt our body in any way. Staying open across the hips, really strong on one foot. Now let's bring our arms into position. Whether it's above the head, low hanging branches, maybe pressing right through heart center. This is where I'm going to hold it today. Wherever we put our arms, make them purposeful. There is a reason that we're holding them here. We're never just holding them sloppy by our sides because then our posture is sloppy. We always hold with intention, making everything count. Continuing to wear that beautiful, royal, majestic crown on top of our head. Taking one more big inhale. Exhale, release. Go ahead and fidget through the feet. Wonderful idea to encourage good blood flow again, circulation all the way down through those toes. Finding mountain pose, one last time. Roll the shoulders down, open the chest, engage through the core, extending our left leg out to the side. Let's do tree pose as we open the hip, draw the foot in, whether it's kickstand, calf, or above the knee, pressing right in through the inner thigh. Hips are level, we don't have one higher than the other. They're level. We're opening up through the thigh. We're bringing our arms. Again, you can take any position, maybe even cactus, really strong through the shoulders. Finding the position that's good for us today. Let's stand a little bit taller. Someone's got a hold of your hairs on the top of your head and they're just pulling them a little bit up. Remember to smile. It's okay when we're concentrating. We don't have to furrow our brows. From here, one more big inhale. I'll pulling through the middle and release. Go ahead and fidget through those feet. Coming to the top of our mat as we work our way down towards the floor. We're going to inhale, lift our arms up. And exhale, swan dive all the way into forward fold. Oh my goodness, the stretch behind the knees immediately. 
Feeling so good. I want us to relax the head, allow the chin to tuck in. Knees are as bent as they need to be. Hands can reach to the floor. They can hold our legs. Or my personal favorite, rag doll. So if you hold either elbow, like you're kind of like you're a genie, right? You could wink and do the genie pose. If you hold your arms crisscross like this, you can find a rag doll. And that's a really nice place to hold your arms too when we're in forward fold. Couple more breaths. Allow the entire back side of our body just to get a little bit longer. Softening our knees, step the hands down, the feet back, and press into down dog. Now noticing as we hold down dog that this time we might be bigger, longer. Maybe our tailbone is higher. Maybe our heels are closer to the floor. Perhaps our knees are a little bit straighter without being locked. Same with our elbows. Noticing as we progress through our yoga class, just what changes. Let's get ready for pigeon pose. An amazing hip stretch. So we start with three-legged dog, kicking the right foot up to the sky. Sweep that right foot all the way forward to your left hand. The knee comes down to your right hand, and then we press that left leg all the way back. If anyone's confused at all, you want your right knee a little bit short at the top of the mat, and your left leg to be long with the back of your mat. And then we just come all the way down, resting our heads down on our hands, and we stretch, breathing into our right hip. And I'll just show that from the front in case anyone's confused. Okay. Couple more breaths as we hold pigeon on that right side. Now slowly coming back up onto the hands if you're not there already. Sweep the leg back behind you, pressing into downward facing dog. Now if anyone's experiencing any shoulder issues or anything of the sort, feel free to press back into child's pose instead. That's a really nice alternative to down dog. From here, we're getting ready to take pigeon on the left leg. So if we can kick the left foot up to three-legged dog, we bring the foot up towards our right hand. The knee comes towards the left. We press the leg back behind us, sitting up really nice and tall. So we're supporting ourselves on our knees. Our hips are lifted, facing forward. And then we can come all the way down onto our elbows, maybe even laying on our head with our hands. And I'll do that again for anyone who requires a little bit of extra support here. So just from down dog, that left foot can put nice and high. We sweep it all the way to the right hand. Knee comes to the left hand. Straightening out that leg. Know where your leg is in space. Know where it's been, know where it's going. And then we're just relaxing. Now doing the best we can to try to relax. In yoga, we don't want to encourage the defense mechanism. We don't want to try to protect ourselves. We don't want to do fight or flight because that's going to send all those protecting hormones into our system. Whereas instead what we want to do is encourage the calming hormones, the happy hormones, the relaxed hormones. I hope that makes sense to everyone. It's pretty nice that we can think of our body as such a wonderful regulatory system if we know how to do it right. All right, now let's slowly get those hands back up and we'll press back into our final downward facing dog pose. See if we can hold it just a little bit bigger, a little bit higher. Loving the stretch of the entire back of our body, right from the heels, up past the back of the knees, around the hips, down the shoulders and in through the arms. We'll slowly work our knees down to the floor again. Take our time here as we swivel the legs all the way front. Good. Just sitting up super, super tall. I'll turn to the side a little bit so you can see me. 
I want us to find ourselves in a butterfly. So if we want to draw the feet together, heels pressed, toes glued, all 10 toes glued, we hold on to our ankles. We'll stretch the inside of our legs now. Really nice and tall. Good, even better posture. Starting to slowly hinge forward, elbows can press against the knees or tuck in, and then just rest the head down. Allow the chin to tuck in, stretching the back of the neck. Slowly rolling up, and we'll draw the knees in together. Taking our time, laying completely down onto our mat. The same way we started class today, I want us to finish. So we come back into Shavasana, laying completely down on the floor. Getting ourselves down here and comfortable. Just roll the shoulders into the mat. Arms come down by our sides. Let those feet fall out and wide. Feel free to take our right hand onto our belly, our left hand onto our heart. If that gives you something a little bit better to focus on, feeling your heart eating, feeling your stomach rising. Otherwise, feel free to let both arms melt into the floor as we just focus on our breath. Inhaling, filling the rib cage, the chest, and exhale, releasing down. I want us to close our eyes and notice that while we're holding ourselves here in our stretch, in Shavasana position, that we're releasing the tension from our shoulders. We're allowing the back of our head to stay flat. The nose is pointing straight up to the ceiling. We feel long through the body. And with every single breath we take, we make sure to spend even more time breathing everything out. Melting into the floor, enjoying our final relaxation. Now I'll ask that while we stay in our final pose, I want everyone to think back to that one intention, the one thought that we wanted to hold on to. Was it flexibility, stretching, to be calm, to stay focused, to practice our breathing? Whatever it was, I want you to think about that one thought right now. Were we able to focus on it? And if we weren't, why not? What caused us to not stay on track with that? Was there something in our space that was distracting us? Were we just not feeling it today? And if so, why? How could we do it better next time? Always working on just progressing forward, improving our practice, listening to our body, practicing our breathing, practicing being mindful. Being mindful is just staying present thinking about the here and the right now, not letting anything else bother us. Okay, taking one more big inhale and exhale, wiggling those fingers, wiggling our toes, maybe doing little circles with the wrists and ankles. And however we need to get there, I want us to slowly bring ourselves up into our easy seated posture, where we'll take a few more deep breaths and say our final goodbye together. As we're making our way up to seated, feel free, I'll show you, I'm in crisscross today. You can also take half lotus, one foot stacked on top, 
And if you'd like to, you can put both feet on top to come into your full lotus posture. Lotus, just like the lotus flower, that beautiful open flower we see in so many yoga drawings. Very peaceful. Rolling the shoulders, we can hold pointer finger and thumb together, opening our palm. Still practicing amazing posture, never letting the crown fall off the top of our head. Preparing for our final goodbye together. Inhale, lifting our hands up above head to prayer. Exhaling down through heart center. Thank you so much, everyone. Namaste.